okay guys we are software developers we know that if statements are badass but what if we could take our if statements and we could marry them with jsx we could trigger certain types of jsx depending on if something is true or not that is the beauty of conditional rendering essentially we can take logic that any if statement has and we can place it directly in our jsx or we can do it just like this imagine if we have a if statement right here within our actual component instead of returning a string like this we can return jsx just like we would return any other type of string but we don't even have to put quotes around it so we could even just say test just like this and this is absolutely valid because this is a JSX element. But it gets even cooler because we have these things called ternary operators. And a ternary operator is a fancy one-liner form of an if-else statement. Imagine it as an if-else statement, but it's just shrink down to one line. So this is the condition. Let's just say one is equal to one. And depending on if one is equal to one, let's put in an extra strict equals there just for being a super official we could return a true obviously since one is equal to one this is going to return a true but if i put one is equal to two just like this it is going to return a false and the same rules apply we would just have an h1 here we would say true just like this and if it were false we would do the exact same thing. We would put an H1 here. And obviously you're going to switch it out for the type of actual JSX that you want, but this is just for brevity's sake. And that's exactly how a ternary operator works. But we also have this thing called a logical and. And a logical and is essentially if you don't even want a false. It's pretty much a ternary operator, but there's no false. So if this is true, one is triple equal to one just like this this evaluates to true we can then have a piece of jsx where it will evaluate to true right here and we can place it directly in the return part of our function and we don't even have to worry about if fail statements but if that's confusing i'm going to do a very simple example within vs code so let's go ahead hop in the editor and let's do some coding so in our code we actually have a server error system that we've created when we return a string from our API, that means a critical error has occurred. Something along the lines of not being connected to the internet. And when we are not connected to the internet, we want the user to be able to see that. But we don't want the user to be able to see when they are connected to the internet because that would be redundant and not make sense. So what do we do? We create conditional rendering. And in doing so, what we are going to do is we are going to add our state at the bottom and we are going to do an and conditional logic that will display the actual error when it is returned or when it is set by the state. So we can set the server error like this. And the reason we chose and logic instead of the ternary operator like we could do is because we don't want an extra part of this conditional statement that says connected that like i said that really would not make sense you could do that you could add the maybe a fragment right here or maybe an empty div but once again that's very redundant so we're going to go ahead we're going to check to make sure that this is actually working so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to fire this up as of right now our app is connected to the internet we can go inside let's make sure that we are still getting data from the api let's make sure that the api is still working and we are still getting array data back. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to cut off my internet very quickly. It's not going to disconnect the actual video. Oh, there we go. And our network error is displayed. If we are getting any type of network error, if our API is not able to communicate, then a network error will be displayed. And if I go ahead, I connect back to the internet. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to refresh the, refresh the page. The internet is back to being connected and our api there we go we are getting our data back and we are not getting an error message anyway that's the video for conditional rendering after this we're going to start working on list and cars anyways hope that you guys enjoyed this smash that like button smash that subscribe button as always thank you for watching